Hi guys, I hope all of you guys are doing really, really well today. So before I get into the haul, I do want to mention one thing. I do have a new audio system. I'm using a Blue Yeti right now. It's the Blackout Blue Yeti, so it's completely black. And uh, I just got this for my birthday for my brother. It was a total surprise. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did have a wireless mic that I was using from Sony. And although it works really good, it is... A little bit more finicky to use and there was times where I would film and it just wouldn't be omnidirectional so my uh, my sound would just be on one side like on the left side of the speaker as opposed to being like binaural so uh, it just wasn't working the way I wanted although I do like it uh, I feel like this is a little bit more trustworthy so let me know if uh, you like the sound if the sound is crisp if it's equal, uh, if it sounds good on your headphones, if you're someone who likes to listen to videos on your headphones, let me know. Uh, I just want to know if my setting is fine. So, um, yeah, that's the main thing that I wanted to talk about. And then, okay, on to the haul. So, I have uh, a bunch of brushes, okay? I went a little crazy. I did, I will admit. Uh, but I wanted to get some brushes for my freelancing kit and to be honest I have never been like a bougie person when it comes to brushes. I typically only gravitate towards affordable brushes. If you guys have been around you guys know that I typically only use Real Techniques, Sonic Hashuk, e.l.f. and Eco Tools, and that's pretty much it. And I actually have a separate video on all of my affordable brushes, like my favorite affordable brushes. I have a video on that, and I will link it down below if you guys are just into, you know, really affordable good brushes. Now, these on the other hand are a little bit more higher end, and I wanted to get some better quality brushes because if you, you know, shell out a little bit more money, your brushes are actually going to last longer. Um, and, you know, I thought I would treat myself because I haven't really purchased high-end brushes. Uh, I think the last time I ever purchased a higher-end brush set was from Sigma, and that was so long ago. I don't even use those brushes anymore. So, that is saying a lot. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. I think I'm going to start off with the brushes that I purchased at Sephora first. And there's one brush that is just screaming, screaming my name. So, um, this is from Too Faced. And this is the Mr. Right, the Perfect Powder Brush. And this is actually limited edition. So, if you want to get your hands on it, do it now. So, this is perfect for powders, bronzers, luminizers, and blushes. And the reason why I purchased this was for bronzer. I love these tulip-shaped brushes. They are perfect for placing the right amount of bronzer on your face. Uh, they're just the perfect brush for any sort of, um, like, setting powder or luminizers. But I would say that this is a little bit big for luminizing, but for bronzing. And you can even contour with this because it does have... A little um, a little tip to it so you can do a little bit of a contour not too precise or anything like that but um, it, it definitely will do the job but the packaging is just everything guys so it has this like gold ferrule here at the end it is baby blue and it says Too Faced on this side and it says Mr. Right right here it has this beautiful little bow right here this little bow tie and then at the very end it says here perfect powder brush with their little teddy bear logo so this is just super super soft uh, again I haven't tried this brush out so I can't really give you like too much feedback on this brush but uh, I can't wait to use it so yeah from Too Faced. So I purchased these from Kat Von D. These are absolutely gorgeous. Yes, they come in these little coffin cases, which I love. So the brushes themselves are really, really pretty. So you open it up like so. And these brushes are really cool because it actually says shade and light on it. So you have this portion here, which is angled. And it kind of looks like a smaller blush brush. And you use this for contouring purposes. And then you have this, which is a little bit more domed and more fluffier. It's not as dense. And you use this for setting powders and, you know, highlighting and such. So the eye brush is a little bit smaller. And this is also really, really gorgeous. So this is the shade and light. So this is the shade portion. This is the light portion. And the shade portion is actually a very, very sharp pencil brush, which I love. So I don't have a brush like this in my collection. So this is like the reason why I wanted this brush. And then on this side, you have a uh, domed shape brush. It's a little bit more smaller. 
it's not as dense as I thought it would be, which is perfectly fine though. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. So that is the light portion. I personally think that this brush is going to be perfect for detailing purposes. You can't exactly pack on shadow onto your eyes, but for detailing, this is going to be perfection. I also purchased these two brushes from Sephora as well. These are from the Bare Minerals brand, and this one is limited edition. This one is just super unique. Actually, they're both pretty unique. So this one is the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush, and uh, they do have one that is just in black, I believe, but what makes this limited edition is the gold packaging and I love the gold packaging even though your fingerprints get just everywhere, but uh, it's really, really cool. I was a little bit surprised when I first received this because it is just super, super tiny. I thought that this was going to be a little bit bigger seeing that this brush was actually made for a foundation, um, but I actually purchased this because I purchased the Bare Minerals Bronzing Serum, which is amazing, guys. I may do a separate video on that bronzing serum because it is just... It's giving me life, okay? But um, I haven't tried it with this brush yet, though. I tried it with a beauty blender, and I just... I, okay, I love the serum. But um, the brush is kind of interesting. It has this little divot here where you apply your product, whether it be a serum foundation or a serum bronzer, which is very in right now. Um, but yeah, it's really tiny. I don't know if it's going to blend you know, seamlessly. It kind of looks a little janky. But uh, this is how the box came. Uh, this is from their Lovescape collection. And uh, I have been actually wanting this brush for a very long time. I'm glad that I have it. I just hope that it works. Because I, I have seen a lot of mixed reviews on this brush. But I think with the serum, it's going to work great. The serum bronzer. I don't think that this would be an ideal brush for foundation though. This brush, guys, is just beautiful. It is gorgeous. This didn't have any fancy packaging, though. It just came in, like, a plastic bag, which is so lame. But um, this is the Soft Curve Face and Cheek Brush from Bare Minerals. I don't know if you can see the shape, but it has this swoop to it. And right here, it's pretty sharp. Like, it ends pretty sharply. And this is, like, the perfect brush for perfect application of blush every single time. You just swoop it onto your cheeks like so, and you will always get the perfect application. And it is super, super big. So if you have, um, like, very pigmented blushes or, or just blushes that you want to diffuse a little bit, I think that this would make a perfect brush. Uh, but it's just gorgeous. And I love the color. It's, like, dual fiber. It has, like, chocolate brown bristles and then in the end it has more of the standard like darker bristles but it is just gorgeous so um I'm, I'm a huge fan already I haven't tried it yet but I think I'm going to love it and this has been on my list for ages and I finally said you know what I need this in my life I'm very heavy-handed when it comes to blushes so uh I need me some help I just I just I do so the last two brushes from Sephora are these, and honestly, I didn't purchase these myself. These were actually a gift, and I'm so happy and so thankful to have these in my collection. But these are from Hakuhodo and Sephora Pro, so this is actually a collab with Hakuhodo. Apparently, their brushes are just everything, like top of the line, and these are synthetic. I know that their original line isn't synthetic. It's made with animal hair. Um, but this one is a synthetic line, which I think is awesome. I'm I'm so, you know, happy that they came out with a synthetic line for Sephora. And I believe that these are limited edition. Uh, yeah, so this is the Kusabi Wedge Sloping Powder Brush. And I believe, I don't know if they still have a sale, but I did see that they had a sale. And I believe it was um, buy one Hakuhodo Sephora Pro Brush and get the other one for free or half off something like that don't quote me on it i think for a luxury brush band they did an amazing job collabing with sephora uh, the packaging is just beautiful it comes in this beautiful sturdy red box and when you open it up there's an image of the actual brush right here and the brush was actually pretty encased in this elastic that you see here 
so it was just a beautiful presentation so this is the kusabi brush and this is the wedge sloped powder brush and i'm going to use this for setting powder like right up under my eyes i really love the slope shape and the bristles are just so soft the softest bristles i have probably felt ever in my life and again i love that these are synthetic bristles I believe that this one is called the ouija fan cheek brush so again beautiful packaging this one is a little bit smaller, and this would probably be great for setting powder as well. I have heard that this makes an amazing highlighting brush and also an amazing blush brush to apply more precise uh, color to your cheeks. So I'm going to try it for that. So I think I'm going to use this brush for applying color right onto the apples of my cheek for like precise color and precise placement. So I'm really excited for this one. I apologize if this video is super choppy. I'm actually filming with pneumonia and I'm having a lot of wheezing and just difficulty breathing. I don't know why I'm filming right now. I'm kind of crazy. I just really wanted to film something and uh, yeah, I'm just letting you know if it's choppy, it's because, you know, I had to take breaks. Um, but such is life. Okay, so on to the brushes that I purchased at Ulta. So I purchased a couple brushes from the Javanesque line. They do have a new line of brushes called the Kumidori Collection. And I thought that they were super reminiscent to NARS brushes. So I wanted to give them a go. Uh, apparently they are inspired by, uh, you know, Japanese art. And um, yeah, they're gorgeous. So this is what the brushes look like. I believe that they have five. I picked up four out of the five. And they are super, super soft bristles. And the quality is really, really nice too. Now, they are wrapped. And you can see where the wrap ends or where it begins. Uh, whichever way you want to look at it. But they are beautiful nonetheless. So, um, I haven't tried these out yet. So, I can't tell you how they perform. But this is what the packaging looks like. So, this is what it looks like when uh, you see them at the store. Really, really pretty. Really sleek. So I really wanted a fan brush. This was the first brush that I picked up from this collection. And this is just called their fan brush from the Kumidori collection. And this is just perfect for highlighting in my opinion. Um, you can like contour your nose with this as well. Uh, but yeah, it is really, really pretty. I like that this is a smaller fan brush. I do have other fan brushes, but they are really big and really thick. So this is just perfect. So the next one that I picked up is this one and this one reminds me the most of the NARS uh, brushes and this reminds me of their famous blush brush. This one is called the contour and highlight brush. So I'm very excited to use this for contouring purposes. I will probably use this for highlighting as well but I think I prefer a smaller uh, highlighting brush but uh, yeah nonetheless. I'm probably going to use it for both. So then we have this one right here. This is the powder brush and I'm going to use this to, you know, set set my face with some powder. And um, yeah, again, I love tulip shape brushes. They just really come in handy. They work for a huge range of things. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. I would also use this for blush as well. And then there is this one. This is the buffing brush. So this is perfect for foundation. And it has this little doodad here. So after you're done washing this brush, you can also hang this upside down. And I love that. Now what's different about this one is that the bristles are actually a deep, deep like cobalt blue. Like really deep blue. A navy blue I would say. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera. But yeah, it's definitely a blue. I don't know if it's going to... Uh, leak like I don't know if the color is going to Get everywhere. Um, I hope not but I really wanted this brush because I love the size I feel like when you have a shorter uh, Handled brush it really buffs out the foundation much better It's kind of like your beauty blender your beauty blender is so close to your face and you're so close to your face as you're applying it So it's kind of the same concept you can get a really good buff of foundation. So uh, yeah I'm excited to have this in my collection girls 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 you need this brush in your life so this is from it cosmetics and this is the love is the foundation brush now what makes this brush super super cool is that this is actually in the shape of a heart I don't know if you can see that but yes this is a heart and it is just gorgeous so this is a you know your standard buffing foundation brush but it is in the shape of a heart and it is beautiful it has this like beautiful pink chrome handle to it 
it's just everything. So this is exclusive to Ulta. And I believe they donate a brush. Yes. It Cosmetics will donate one brush to the Look Good Feel Better program to help women face the effects of cancer treatment with confidence, which I think is just an amazing, an amazing thing that It Cosmetics does. So uh, again, this is limited edition. I don't know how long they will have this in their collection but it is just so 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 pretty uh and i am going to get a lot of use out of this because i love a cosmetics foundation brushes i think that they are one of the best i love their synthetic bristles because they're dense but not overly dense so they give a really good blend to your foundation so i'm excited to have this in my life and this is what the packaging looks like Okay, so this brush is also from It Cosmetics. I didn't purchase this at Ulta though. I actually purchased this through Amazon.com uh, because I don't think that they sell this brush anymore, sadly. But this is the Heavenly Luxe French Boutique Blush Brush in uh, number four. And I love the handle and this is kind of the main reason why I wanted this brush. I just love the look of it. And I always see people doing tutorials with this brush and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I need this in my life. And I just really love the like standard angled fluffy blush brush. It just, it always does a job. And again, I love a cosmetics brushes. I think their bristles are just fabulous. So I needed to have this. And this uh, handle right here is sort of that like rubbery, narzy kind of packaging, uh, which I kind of love even though it does get a bit dirty. Not only is this clear little doodad really, really pretty, but it just helps to better handle your brush and you know, better place blush on your face. So um, I really like this a lot and it's super soft. So I purchased this at Ulta as well and I'm super excited to have this in my collection. I love Real Techniques. I have pretty much every brush that they have ever made and I needed to have this little brow set in my life as well. So this set includes a angled tweezer, a detailing tweezer, a slanted brow spoolie, a slanted arch definer, and a slanted brow brush. Now if you guys want to see a demo of this or a review you, anything like that I will do that for you just let me know I know that there's a couple of videos out there already on this little brow set but if you want to see my thoughts or how I use it or how it performs on my brows um, just let me know and I'll do that for you okay, so now we are getting down to all of the brush sets that I purchased and I did purchase a couple so I'm gonna start off with the ones that I purchased at Amazon first and then I will end it with Zoeva. Okay, so the first brush set that I purchased is from Sedona Lace. I have been wanting these brushes for such a long time. These are synthetic and these are from their Vortex collection. And I gotta say, I love these brushes so much. I have already played with them. Uh, if you wanna see a review or anything like that, let me know. But uh, I love their fan brush. Their fan brush is just the bomb, okay? Perfect for highlighting, for you know, dusting off powder underneath the eyes, for baking, anything like that. Um, this is the FB01. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I also love their Tulip brush because this one is definitely much more pointier than my other uh, Tulip brushes and I feel like this really is great for contouring as well because of that point there. And sometimes I don't want like a striking contour. I just want a more diffused contour and this gives it to me every time. And this is the FB03 brush. And then there's this one. I love this one so much. I think this one is probably my favorite in the set. And this is the FB05. I love this for under eye concealing. I also love this for setting powder underneath the eyes. This is just perfection. I love their eye brushes as well. This one is probably one of my favorites. This is the EB15. And this is a more tapered, sharper crease brush. Perfect for, you know, detail work on the crease. So I love that. The only thing that I will say is the packaging was just, uh, like it wasn't that great. The brushes came in this little plastic baggie right here and it came in this box and I was just kind of, you know, underwhelmed. But nonetheless, the brushes are just perfect. So it really doesn't matter. And from Amazon, I also picked up this brush set. This is from Party Queen and this is their professional makeup brushes. Uh, I have never heard of Party Queen, but 
I saw really good reviews and I saw you know the images of the brushes and they looked really promising and I have already tested them out and they are they are good for the price that I did pay for them I think I paid less than $40 for this little set um, they're not the best but they do look pretty reminiscent to Zoeva brushes which I you know I do like the look of them but I loved that for the price you did get a good array of brushes and again, if you want to see a review on these brushes, let me know and I'll do that for you. So, um, okay, the ones that are kind of a done would be these for me. And this is the Duo Fiber Powder Brush slash Blush Brush. It's just super tiny. It's not going to do anything for me. Uh, probably for highlighting, but blush and powder, I don't think so. And this is also their powder slash blush brush. I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. I kind of don't get it. This brush set also came with two like tulip shaped brushes. So this one's perfect for like powder, bronzer, and this one's perfect for highlighting. I really, really like this one a lot. I don't know. For the most part, I gotta say I do like this brush set. It came with this large powder brush, which is perfect for blush in my opinion. And I really like this guy. I am always in desperate need of a big fluffy eyeshadow brush because I have really big eyelids. So this is their large fluff brush. I do really like their blending brushes. I've used these quite a bit. I will say that you can still tell the difference. They're a little bit more flimsier than some of my higher quality blending brushes. But nonetheless, they do a good job. I mean, my eyeshadow looks really nice. So um, it comes with a small tapered blending brush, it comes with a regular tapered blending brush, and then it comes with a brush that is very similar to the MAC 217. Um, it comes with a lip brush as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's really, really good. I love this one right here, which is the flat definer, which is perfect for packing color onto my uh, lower lash line, things like that. I like this set a lot. I will say when I first received these brushes though, they did smell quite chemically because of the little bag that it comes in. But once you wash the brushes, the smell goes away. Uh, I just wouldn't recommend storing them in the little, uh, little baggie that comes with it. And then I purchased this beautiful brush set from Amazon. And this is from Shani Cosmetics. And this is their signature collection brush set. It comes with 24 studio quality brushes with the leather wrapped. Look at all of these brushes. Amazing. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I kind of went into too much detail with the other little brush set. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This is the leather wrap right here. So these are the brushes. Let me scale them for you guys because there is a lot. Aren't they gorgeous? Again, if you want to see a review, let me know. But I guess I will show you my, I don't know, my standout. I mean, they do have a really pretty fan brush as well. I think I prefer my Sodona Lace one, um, but they call this their XL fan brush for face and body. Um, I don't know. I really enjoy fan brushes and I use them a lot. So it's always good to have a bunch. Um, oh, they have these brushes, which are so similar to the Wayne Goss brush line. Um, so I'm really happy to have brushes like this in my collection so I can test them out because the Wayne Goss brushes look so intriguing. So this is their slanted finishing brush. And then this one is their mineral blush brush. Kind of cool. They're like really, really slanted and tiny. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to try those out. I have a good concealing brush. Um, this is their rounded foundation brush, but I would use this for under eye concealing. This one is also beautiful as well. This is their F17 buffed bronzer brush. I love the shape of this brush. I love the look of this brush. It's super, super soft. And I feel like this definitely will be great for buffing out bronzer. And then there's this one that is the F19 Slanted Contour Brush. This is just gorgeous. I feel like overall, this set is outstanding in their face brushes, but their eyeshadow brushes are kind of, you know, they're okay. They're not like the best. I'll just show you really quickly. Like these are their eye brushes. Um, they're good. I just definitely can tell that they're a little bit more on the flimsier side. But uh, nonetheless, they are going to be a perfect addition to my brush collection. Um, so yeah, so those are those. Those are those. My baby. My baby. So this is probably the most expensive I have ever paid for brushes in my life. These are from Zoeva. These are a German brand. And these brushes are just made to perfection. 
the best quality I have ever tried as of yet. And uh, this one came with 25 brushes and it comes in this little, this little, I don't know what you call it, makeup belt kind of brush holder kit. And it is just beautiful, guys. So those are the brushes there. And as you can see, some of them I have, you know, I have already used like the bronzing tulip brush and my blush brush and my little contouring brush right here. Uh, and I have cleaned all of these brushes. And like I said, no shedding, guys. No shedding. They're amazing. Uh, if you want to see a more thorough review on these, let me know. But their eyeshadow brushes, their blending brushes are just to the next level. Their face brushes are amazing as well. But I think that for me personally, their eyeshadow brushes are the most outstanding brushes in their collection. Um, however, I do really like this brush here. This is their 109 Luxe Face Paint Brush. This is perfect, perfect for cream contour. Uh, I love their little chubby dome shape brush here. This is their face shape brush which is also really good for contouring, but I love this for concealing as well. Pretty much use all these brushes for multiple uses. That's what I love about brushes. There really isn't any rules. Uh, yeah, I'm not like a huge fan of like dual fiber brushes. I probably could do without those. I do like this one though for like cream products or cream highlights and things like that, but I don't really use dual fiber brushes that much. Uh, but overall, I love this little collection. It's just... Like I said, to perfection. These are my babies right here. These blending brushes are my babies. Yeah, I'm going to sleep with them tonight, you know. So that is my first haul, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if I seemed a little out of sorts. Again, I'm sick with pneumonia, so I do apologize for that. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul nonetheless. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.